All right, so here are the five tips that can make your Swift code look more professional. Tip number one, follow Apple's naming conventions. If you come from a different background and you've used different programming languages, you may be tempted to use those conventions. However, Apple has its own naming rules. As the saying goes, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Apple provides more details and examples in their API design guidelines. The bottom line is this. Name your protocols, classes, structures, functions, methods, properties, so that their purpose is clear. Clarity is more important than brevity. Tip number two. Don't use semicolons. Swift doesn't require semicolons at the end of code lines. You can still use them if you wish, your code will compile just fine. However, semicolons add to the cognitive load without improving the readability of your code. The Swift community dropped the semicolons. You can check any popular Swift open source framework or even the Swift repository itself. In short, don't use semicolons at the end of your Swift code lines. Tip number three. Use access control. Swift provides five different access levels. Public slash open, internal, file private, and private. If you don't specify an access level for your entities, the default applies, which is internal. Internal means that your entity will be accessible by any other component within your project. Now, you probably don't want your tiny helper method you defined in one of your view controllers to be accessible throughout your entire project. And how about all those properties? Do you really want to expose them? Ask yourself if something should be used outside its defining scope or file. Tip number four, exit early. You should deal with the error case first and exit the scope as soon as possible. The guard statement lets us implement the early exit strategy in a concise manner. The purpose of the guard statement is clear and it's way cleaner than using if-else conditional logic. Tip number five, structure your code. You've probably heard about the infamous massive view controller syndrome. You start with a view controller, usually auto-generated by Xcode. As you add new features, implement new requirements, the code grows and grows. Eventually, it reaches a state that you can't really understand what it does. It has so many responsibilities, the code is so long, you have lengthy methods, dozens of properties, and it really is unmaintainable. The simplest way to deal with this problem is by using type extensions. Extensions are an elegant language feature that let us split our code in a logical way. We can even extract an extension and put it in a separate file. It will still work. All right, that's it for today. Press like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Take care.